Data obsession has always been core to customer-centric firms, but technology has taken that fixation to new levels. Meet the Boss TV caught up with Dave Clements, Global Capability Managing Director at Dunhomby, to find out how customer science is transforming that data hunger into a sales uplift. By looking at customer science, we can find out so much more around customers, their behaviours, their attitudes, their opinions. So it's really about finding out for individual customers who they are, what their behaviours are, why they do those behaviours, and even moving now to what if behaviours, so what might they do in the future. So it's really giving you that real specific insight across all sorts of things of customers. And real specifics are what retailers want these days because personalised interactions with customers are the ones that add value. We find that when you personalise communications and make them much more relevant, we see four times the impact in sales uplift and profitability compared to normal sort of untargeted communications. A lot of retailers promote products in their stores. Um, certainly in the grocery industry, around 40% of items are on promotion at any one time, so it's a massive investment. By using customer science, customer data, we can really understand which are the best promotions that really drive incremental spend that customers like, and which are the promotions that really aren't working, um, and really you're just wasting money. On the customer front, the pervasive use of technology is driving expectations, and retailers are struggling to keep up. Customers have adopted new technology much quicker than retailers. Uh, and they're much more demanding now. So they kind of are expecting uh, retailers to use their data better and are much more savvier to what's the value exchange. Traditional retailers are dealing with challenges on several fronts. Their own baggage of legacy technology, struggling to get a single view of the customer and integrating their on and offline data. And then there are the disruptors, legacy-free, baggage-free and meeting the customer's expectations when it comes to price, fulfilment and technology. Traditional retailers have really got to think about well, what are my strengths and how am I going to compete with these disruptive businesses like Amazon and Uber. So you either need to sort of take on and copy some of their activity or you really need to accentuate your strengths and make your experience much better. You can't jump and leapfrog always to match with legacy systems and whatever technologies you have, but you really can start to improve the experience in very small ways. You know, improving the weight at the checkout, you know, improving the availability of products on the shelves, improving the communication that it's a bit more relevant and feels more personal. Ironically, despite the fast pace of technology, it's still a slow burn for retailers. But the retail picture is changing, probably at the fastest pace it ever has. So what changes can we expect to see in the future? I think some of the trends that are really exciting are around mobile uh, and location data. So really being able to interact with customers in the context of where they are, um, where they are in a store, where they are in a physicality, to be much more relevant uh, and, and interact through mobile devices is a really fantastic opportunity that I think we'll see explode. I think one of the changes we're seeing is the cost of technology coming down very quickly. We see more open source uh, coding, we see technology costs of what used to be big data warehousing systems come down. Um, so this really means that it can be much more, um, much easier for all sorts of retailers to get access to this data. There's certainly a lot of technology innovations in supply chain, so how can you forecast better to um, make sure the right stock's on the shelves at the right time. Um, there's lots of technology changes around you know, the, the, the customer in the store, so digital displays, being able to find out the provenance of a product, which farm it's come from, by just scanning the barcode.